Armed Forces of Nigeria through Operation Safe Corridor has conducted the radicalization, rehabilitation, and integration program for 882 ex Boko Haram members, including 280 earlier graduated. The coordinator of defense media operations made this known while updating journalists on the Armed Forces of Nigeria operation from 9th of June to 16th of July 2020. He added that 602 repentant Boko Haram members swore oath of allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The ex-insurgents who have completed the radicalization, rehabilitation and reintegration program at Malam Sidi Camp in Gombe took the oath before an 11-member quasi-judicial panel. The reason behind the oath of allegiance is to emphasize their loyalty discipline and obedience to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and thereby making a commitment. The implication is that at the end of the program, if they commit any offense, they stand to forfeit all privileges and will be liable for offense against the state. The message here is clear to others out there in the bush and what all the nooks and crannies of the notice that Surrender and be profiled accordingly for the radicalization, rehabilitation, and reintegration privilege. That is Within the week on the review, a total of 714 Russell livestock, comprising 302 Russell cows and 412 sheep, were recovered in Zamfara State. Also in the south-south zone of the country, troops of three battalions arrested seven suspected sea pirates at Snake Creek in Worry Southwest local government area of Delta State. The suspects who claim to be member of Ugoje Ijo Coastal Watch were allegedly extorting money and other valuables from the locals within the creek. Items recovered from them are two double barrel guns, one pump action, 12 life cartridges, and six handsets. In another development, Operation Calm Waters and Operation Sweet Response have continued to record remarkable successes. Within this period, 112 bags of 50 kilograms foreign parboiled rice were impounded. These operations were conducted with the combined teams of Operation Sweet Response and Nigerian Customs Service Strike Force. These operations are targeted at reducing the smuggling of contrabands into the country through the south-south part of the country. He says peace is gradually returning to the troubled locations in the north-central zone of the country, while confidence of the local populace is being enhanced. While urging the general public to continue providing timely information on the activities of criminals in their various localities to the nearest military and other security agencies for prompt action. Kike Lomo Okeri, Court TV News, Abuja.